Okay, so we've spent a lot of time now on the front end of things, and we're, we're not done with that by any means. I want to take a little bit of time to set up the admin area, or the back end. Once we've done a little bit of work in here, we're going to start going back and forth from front, front end to the back end uh, throughout the series. But what we want to talk about first is uh, we're going to do a login. So in order to do a login correctly, we need to have a users table in the database. So I've made up this little document here, um, and usually I'm writing these out on, on a whiteboard or something. Um, but uh, in this case, we're just going to use a Google Doc here, which is going to be uh, accessible on, on our public Google Drive, as well as uh, I'll put a PDF of this or something up on uh, the GitHub. Uh, but just a really quick run through. And I've got a legend over here on, on the right um, that pretty much explains what I'm going to explain. But each one of these little groups here would be a table. And uh, just the uh, green, green bar here would be the table name. And uh, I like to cut my what I call sketch up into uh, three columns. Um, and it's kind of confusing because we're putting columns in these three columns. But uh, I like to put the, the indexes over here on the left the main columns here in the middle and then what I'd call parameter columns uh, on the right and an example would be for index would be like the ID um, then for main columns uh, maybe title body date things like that and then for parameters uh, usually like single value things like like status is it on or is it off is it is it one or zero true or false um, or maybe position uh, and other things like that. Um, but you can really do this however you want. This is just a way I've become accustomed to. And uh, to give you an example, we'll go ahead and put the, the pages table in here as well as the settings table just so we have a complete document. Okay, so we're going to hop over to PHP My Admin just for a second so we can take a look at our tables here. So we've got pages. And I'm going to click on structure. So we've got five columns in our pages table. So I'll try to remember these as we hop over here to the sketch. So as an example, table name, pages. As far as the index column, right now we only have one, which would be the ID. And for the main columns are pretty much the rest of these, label, title, header, and body. And then for parameters right now, we actually don't have anything in there, which we, we would add something there probably in the future. Uh, then let's hop back over to PHP My Admin and take a look at settings. And this one's pretty simple. We have ID, label, and value. So table name is settings. ID. Label. and value. Okay, so now let's talk about our users table. So we'll go down here and uh, of course they're going to have an ID. Then uh, we'll keep it pretty simple for now. Um, we'll just do really what it takes to log in. Um, we'll do first name and uh, I like to shorthand some of this stuff. Some people like to do it all the way like first underscore name, last underscore name, etc. Um, so then we do email and password and uh, I'm going to give you an example of what I'd put in one of these parameter columns here. Uh, and that would be status. So this would uh, indicate whether the user is active or inactive. And odds are we'll give it like a 1 or a 0. 
one for active, zero for inactive. Then I want to give you an example also of why we might have more than one ID in a table or more than one index. Um, let's say when a user is logged in, it might be nice to keep track of what user is creating things. So for example, we might want to store um, the user ID along with each page that's been created. So that way we can, we can go in and see who created these pages. So we'll create another index here and we'll call this user. Now again, a lot of times you'll find people will want to do user underscore ID or user ID. Uh, that's really up to you. Now it might get confusing for you if you don't do user ID. Um, but uh, really you can come up with your own naming convention. I like to shorthand it whenever I'm doing like a relation like this where this user ID is going to be associated with whatever ID is in here. I really just use the singular version of the table name. So like user instead of users. Um, but really that's up to you how you want to do it. So in our admin what we would do is when somebody creates a new page whoever is logged in and creating this page, their user ID will be associated with that. 